Hello, so my name is Justin. Most of you know me as someone who went through Western Governors, finished my Master's of Curriculum Instruction in under six months, and I thought I would make a quick video to talk a little bit about some of the, some of the challenges I had and the ability I created for myself to finish the program on time because there was a bit of a crunch at the end and I want to talk about how I was able to get everything done. So stay tuned. Okay, so the term was very crazy for me. And when I say term, when I, I work in university and in university, we call a semester a term. And so we have a fall term, which is generally from September to December, winter term, spring and summer. So this was the fall term. And this year I was teaching, assigned to teach two courses in my area of expertise, I guess you could say. And um, normally I just teach one course because I also have another job, which is a permanent continuing position in student services. And I work part time, but it is 25 hours a week. But I also do some freelance projects for um, a design practice that I have. And I was actually tasked to do a workshop redesign because of COVID there is this new mandate of putting everything online. So I had to convert this workshop series that I had developed in the past and make it virtual and then deliver it. So I had all of these different tasks going on. And in a way, you know, when I talk about slowing down in some of my other videos, it was obviously it was part of it was that I was getting tired of doing the written assignments for the, the performance assessments, I guess you could say. But another reason was, is just everything was jammed in my life. Um, there was no time to, to sit down, do the readings for the paper, prior to the papers for Western Governors, and then actually write the papers. I mean, I could use my Saturday, but I was having to do a lot of my prep for teaching on Saturdays and marking and um, redesigning the workshops because during the week I was working at my day job. Now, the, another thing came about is my direct boss, my boss, my manager, she ended up getting promoted to another position. And so there was an opening, which became complicated because I've been in my job, like, let's just say the organization for about 10 years. So that's a long time. And I've had many different jobs. I've kind of gone up, advanced in the company. And um, I've been doing the same role for about five years. And so it was assumed that I would apply to this position, which was quite demanding, this new position, because it would be a team lead role. I would be managing other people. I would be strategizing in a new way. I would be working with students, but um, less so. So, I, I mean, obviously I wasn't the only potential candidate, but I had to then think about, was I going to apply? So in the middle of all this, I'm trying to decide if I want to apply to this job, which meant I had to give up some other things in my life because it's full time. And then I had to create an application. Then I had to go through an interview process. Then I had to negotiate a job offer. So I did end up applying to that job and it was a long process. It took a couple months and I actually ended up getting the job. So what that meant is I had to really kick my butt and I had to get this done. I had a reason to get it done. And I think in other videos, I talk about having your own purpose for doing the program, but self-imposing deadlines is vital to getting things done in a quick fashion. And this wasn't really self-imposed. It was in the sense I could have just said, oh, I'll just finish it later. But I, I basically wanted everything to be done before Christmas so that I could move into the position and then um, in the new year, just start that position. So what I ended up doing in order to finish everything was I really looked at what was going on in my life that I could use to my advantage to finish Western Governors. So first of all, I'll just explain, which I've explained in many videos, is that there is the topic specific courses in a lot of programs. So whether you're in IT, business administration, um, higher education teaching or K-12 teaching, whatever your discipline is, you're going to have a pile of courses. For me, that was at least eight. I think that, yeah, I think it was eight. And each one had about three performance assessments. So I had to get through all of that and I had to move into the research phase. So in the middle of November, I quickly finished the last course, which was differentiated instruction. And I was moving into the research phase of the, the capstone. And at that point, I thought, what will my topic be for my research? Now, capstone projects, that doesn't have to relate to the research courses. So there were four research courses. One, it won't relate because it's an objective assessment 
and it was on research foundations. The other three could relate. You want to early on say, okay, whatever my topic is, I'm going to carry that forward into my capstone. And of course, it's going to change as you do your literature review, as you read more about the topic, as you frame a research problem and reframe it and frame it again and reframe it to, to make it accurate you're going to change that topic, but you have to have at least a general idea. So I used all those three performance assessment courses as the precursor to the capstone. And at that phase, I also started to identify what would I be doing in my capstone. So your capstone for this type of course, for this type of program, alongside learning and technology, as well as instructional design, has to include eight to 10 hours of instruction. And um, that's, I mean, you can find that knowledge. There are course, course of study documents online that are put out by the Western governors, and it talks about that. Even if you ask an enrollment counselor, they will tell you that eight to 10 hours needs to be instruction as part of your research. The research is action research, means you go into the classroom, you do this investigation for eight to 10 hours. Now that's a lot of time spent on a research project. Um, and I didn't have time. Like I said, I was redeveloping a workshop series. I used that as my opportunity to do research. I didn't invent a new workshop. I didn't reconceptualize something. I just used what I had built and I was redesigning it or kind of revamping it anyways um, as part of my job in the virtual format. So I just framed a research topic around that. The research topic is kind of like, well, first of all, why, why would I even create a workshop series around this? How is this going to benefit learners? What is the challenges that they face? And what, therefore, why would they be attending these workshops? So the reason why I'm saying that is without having that workshop series, I would have had to really brainstorm other options or I would have had to invent a new lesson or a new workshop series. So I use that pre-existing those lessons or that unit plan and then I just kind of dive deep into it and I started from before the capstone starting to put together all my information so my instruments that I would have used to assess the research I started to think about how is I going to analyze the research and then when it came to the actual capstone everything was kind of ready to go I was just doing a lot of writing um, you'll learn about this is you have to kind of do a lot of different writing stages to get approval, including ethics clearance. Once you get ethics, you can actually do the research. Now for me, I was able to do my workshops back to back because, you know, I wasn't going to drag this out. I, I had some participants, they were willing to do these workshops um, on a Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night. So I split the eight up hours up into three nights, did it. Saturday, I did my analysis. Sunday, I finished up my presentation and voila, I was submitting everything by that Sunday. I think it might have been the Monday. So everything at the end of my degree happened very quickly. Now I can imagine if you aren't being strategic with your time and doubling up, meaning doing something that benefits multiple things, such as I was already doing a workshop series, so might as well do research on it. If you're already doing lessons on something, you might as well kind of do research on it. Um, if you're not going to do that, you're going to have to then exert more energy and time into this new concept, idea, um, investigation. So just be really strategic with your time and, and even ask your instructors, you know, what are, what are some efficient data collection methods as well as data analysis methods, which they would relate. For example, if you do some sort of qualitative research investigation, that might take more time than some sort of quantitative data research investigation. So just be mindful of all of like the complexity behind the project and not just kind of going one piece and waiting and another piece. You really want to think about the whole project early on and then do backwards design where you say, this is my endpoint of the project and I'm going to work backwards in order to where I, to where I am today in order to kind of build in a time frame that I'm, I'm willing to, to finish this by. And for me, I wanted it done by the middle of December. And because I had that hard deadline in my mind, I just, I just did it. I didn't care if I was up till 12 o'clock at night, up at eight in the morning again, I was going to do it. And having that mindset is going to push you and push you hard if you need to do that. Some of you may not be on the fast track and this is irrelevant, but I would argue that why not just get this done? I mean, if you're not going to do it now, you're going to have to do it all later anyways. So just do what you can to at least push yourself a little bit to
to be efficient. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how I kind of finished everything up at the end and the complexity of my term and how it's possible that you can do the same thing even if you're really busy with multiple jobs and responsibilities. Okay, hopefully that helps and I will see you in another video.